what is up everybody Rajay back with one last video from down here Clearwater Beach I'm going to take a look at one from Blue Point Brewing it is the Imperial Sunshine it is a blonde ale with orange and natural flavors that's described on the can 9.6% ABV and of course Blue Point is out of New York this is one that I saw at the store earlier today decided to go ahead and grab it and check it out let's see how this one goes down and then this will conclude my videos from being down here in Florida. And the next ones after this will be back when I'm in Baltimore and back in the uh, studio, so to speak. So there we go. Orange collar on the beer itself. Head came out pretty heady. Uh, nice foaminess to it, but it is definitely more heady than expected. A little bit of a chill haze on the glass, as you can see right there as well. Note-wise... Yeah, it's kind of got that orange on the nose. But you do have to take a pretty good sniff to get anything out. The aroma is not climbing out of the glass on this one as it has on the other beers I've had. A little bit of a breadiness in there on the note as well. More grain to the front, taste-wise. Well, it goes down smooth. You get some breadiness. You get a little bit of a cracker type feel in here as well. Definitely has that blonde ale appeal. Malts are definitely brought up to give it that higher ABV. So you do have some sweetness in play there. Back on the uh, throat area after the swallow, you can feel a little bit of the scratchiness there, but it's not hop forward in any way. Good thing about a blonde ale, it's a good crossover beer. For a lot of people that are usually drinking the adjunct lagers, kind of the macro type stuff, blonde ales, one way to get them into craft beer. As I talk here, duration of the flavor is lingering a little bit longer. Again, you do have a little bit of that orange in play, but it's nothing really outstanding about it. I hold it there on the tongue. Don't really get much tongue prickling, it's really subtle. Again, that graininess is there, a lot of sweetness in play. Not overly sweet, but definitely you can just pick up how more of a malt forward type style this is. At the end of the day, it's not bad. You know, I talked about the, some of the other beers I've had kind of fit in this weather. This one comes in with that higher ABV of 9.6. So you probably want to measure out how many of these you would actually have if you were out to eat and everything. But it doesn't really take over. It does allow you to have something you can enjoy at a little bit higher ABV that kind of mellows well against the weather here. Now it is into the evening now as it is 6.05 and sun is not down yet. Obviously you can see the sunlight, but it will be down the next hour and a half or so. And so the weather is down where it's a little bit cooler. Probably wouldn't want to have this like midday out on the beach, but chilling right here on the patio on the deck outside the room. Makes a nice little play as I got a nice little breeze coming through. So, Imperial Sunshine, not bad. Um, not a standout, but uh, if you needed something, you can grab these. So this comes in a 16 ounce can, and I think it was maybe 379 or something like that, but uh, not bad. Blue Point, again, out of New York. If you've had it, let me know what you thought about it. Um, haven't had one of their beers in a good amount of time. I think the last one I had from Blue Point was their toasted lager, which I did enjoy that one as well. So this is a little bit different there. For me on Untapped, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one here a, it's gonna be 3.25 out of five. Still a good beer, but again, just doesn't bring a lot to the table that I would wanna go back and maybe get into more of these. That's just my thought. If you've had it, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on, drink beer, Live happily. Cheers, everybody.